Hey guys, we're back for our second survey in this field. Uh, we've got some leaves coming in on the vines, so we're going to send the drones up and see how today's survey compares to the one that we did a couple of weeks back. All right, guys, we finished all our full processing. We've returned to the vineyard as well and got some uh, ground images, spoke with the vineyard manager um, over some different uh, areas of interest that we found on the second survey um, in comparison to the first survey, and now we'd like to share those results with you. All right, so let's start out by doing a comparison of the first survey and the second survey. Um, so first survey here on the left, second survey here on the right. So we have four main areas of interest. Um, in these areas, we went back and took imagery, we spoke with the vineyard manager, um, and we, we definitely found some uh, differences in those areas compared to other areas. So we'd just like to uh, share those results with you real quick. So for starters, we're calling this area one, which you can see I'm circling my mouse around right now. On the right here, where I'm circling, this is the second survey. On the left, we can see the same area. So again, the survey on the left was done before there was any foliage on the, um, on the vines. Um, we can see this area here on the left now where I'm circling my mouse. That area there, all we had was uh, pretty much dirt or uh, not so healthy grass with no foliage on the vines. Now if you look at the survey on the right, the more recent survey, you can see there's green just starting to poke through those areas and that's just some healthy foliage now and it's just kind of blocking out the, um, the view of the ground. Um, but let's start uh, here in this area. So. Uh, map on the right, we have this area here which is red and we're calling this um, area one. So we can see on the left there's no um, big red blotch there. Uh, this is before the foliage came in. The, the green that you're seeing was just some healthy grass on the ground. And then here on the right we can see uh, now um, as the foliage has come in we've got uh, this quite uh, red area. So let's pull up the images from that area first. So here's area one. So what we were noticing uh, mostly in this area was just uh, uh, leaf damage. We spoke with the vineyard manager and um, he did believe that they got uh, some damage in that area, specifically in that area from a hailstorm that happened uh, just a couple of days, I believe it was, before the survey. Uh, you can see damage on a lot of leaves in this area. Uh, in general, uh, it doesn't seem to um, show any signs of um, much lower health, uh, other than the fact that it's a bit sparser in this area as well, where um, uh, on the leaves or on the on the vines, uh, as far as uh, leaves coming in, uh, the vineyard manager did say that they have had um, little bits of uh, possible pests over in that area as well. But um, again. Uh, for the most part, the only uh, common thing we were seeing all in that red was uh, damaged leaves. Okay, so let's move on to the area that we're calling Area 2. So here in our first survey, we can see, um, again, there was no foliage on the vines. We were, we were basically just looking at some grass. Um, here. Uh, and uh, now when we look at the map on the right, we can see this clearly defined uh, red area coming out. So um, let's go to the images of that area, the ground images, and discuss what we spoke about with the um, vineyard manager. So first thing he said when he seen that on the map was that area for the last two years has um, had a significant decline in, uh, in yield uh, at harvesting time. Um, they don't really know what's going on over there, so it requires more investigation, but what we were seeing in the images is um, less vines, uh, vines with no leaves, uh, as you can see from these images here. Um, uh, as far as the, the look of the leaves themselves, um, they, they, they did look a, a little less lush, but uh, nothing, nothing, too, um, nothing that just really stood out. Uh, again, main theme in this area was just lack of foliage. Um, here's kind of an overview image here, and you can see it's just quite a bit more sparse uh, in this area, and, and um, just uh, plants completely, uh, you know, almost completely vineless, leafless. Okay, so let's move over to our area that we are calling Area 3. Uh, 
So area three, if you look on the left map here, I'm highlighting it with my mouse right now. We're going to see it now over here. Now we selected this area as we just noticed it to be, um, uh, you know, quite quite healthy, quite green in a in a pretty big area. So we just figured, and and also it's not far from this other area. So we figured we'd go into that area and kind of have a look at what uh, the NDVI is telling us to be a rather healthy section uh, that's uh, just now um, starting to uh, grow. So let's go to the images of that area. <clears throat> So as you can see from these images, um, there's more vines on the uh, on the plants, and they um, have a lot more foliage as well. So this is just that was the common theme everywhere. Everything just looked really healthy, and there was a lot of vines, a lot of foliage. So um, the sensor obviously uh, picked up on that really well. Okay, now let's go to the area that we're calling area four. And this area was, in fact, uh, I'd say the most interesting out of uh, the other areas that we looked at. So as you can see here where I'm placing my mouse now, um, there's quite a difference from this area on this survey here on the left and then the survey uh, taken a couple of weeks later here on the right. Um, so we've got this quite, quite red area popping out. So let's go to the images, uh, the ground images, and, and have a look at that area. <clears throat> So we kept seeing a common theme in this area, and that was um, a browning, kind of a burning on the ends of the leaves here. Um, as you can see from these images, um, we just kept seeing that all in that area. Uh, there was a general um, kind of uh, look of, of, the, the, um, of the leaves not being as lush, um, but really this was what we were, we were noticing. Um, so we took these images to the vineyard manager and showed him um, the uh, NDVI uh, output as, uh, as well. And uh, after looking at it, he had confirmed that that area had been sprayed with a 7% uh, lime sulfur um, spray. And uh, it ended up getting really sunny and hot, uh, especially in that area after it was done. And uh, it, it, uh, he ended up he, he's saying that this is uh, leaf burning, is what he was saying, or sun burning uh, on the leaves from the, from the spray. Um, so um, we can say that was the only thing that stood out uh, again and again off of uh, a lot of leaves in that area was that sun burning. Um, I, at this time, we don't know if there's anything else wrong in that area, um, but definitely not nearly as healthy as what we were seeing over in Area 3. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll head back out to the vineyard in a couple more days and do another comparison survey and post it up on YouTube for you guys to uh, see the results. Uh, thanks for watching, drone mates. <laughs>